Hello and welcome. This is the JavaScript uh, introductory video for uh, the Learn Web Development series. Uh, if you want to find this playlist, you can go to uh, our YouTube channel and in the playlist section, <clears throat> the playlist is called uh, Learn Web Development Number 4. Uh, JavaScript right there um, so let's begin we're gonna go here to map learn it'll take us to Mozilla developer network and then we're gonna scroll down to JavaScript and uh, let's see JavaScript is a programming language that allows you to implement complex things on web pages. Speaking of JavaScript, you see this little pop-up right here? This is JavaScript. <laughs> they made this with JavaScript, so let's close this though. Um, JavaScript is a programming language that allows you to implement complex things on web pages. Every time a web page does more than just sit there and display static information for you to look at, displaying timely content updates or interactive maps or animated 2D, 3D graphics or scrolling video jukeboxes and so on. You can bet that JavaScript is probably involved. <clears throat> Learning pathway. JavaScript is arguably more difficult to learn than related technologies such as HTML and CSS. Before attempting to learn JavaScript, you are strongly advised to get familiar familiar with at least these two technologies first, and perhaps others as well. Start by working through the following modules. Getting started with the web, introduction to HTML, and introduction to CSS. And uh, having previous, previous experience with other programming languages might also help. After getting familiar with the basics of JavaScript, you should be in a position to learn about more advanced topics. For example, JavaScript in depth as taught in Mozilla's JavaScript guide and web APIs. Uh, modules. The topic contains, this topic contains the following modules in a suggest, suggested order for working through them. Uh, first module is JavaScript first steps and our first JavaScript module, we answer some fundamental questions such as what is JavaScript? What does it look like? And what can it do? Before moving on to taking you through the first practical experience of JavaScript, after that, we discuss some key JavaScript features in detail, such as variables, strings, numbers, and arrays. Uh, the next JavaScript module is JavaScript building blocks. In this module, we continue our coverage of all JavaScript's key fundamental features, turning our attention to commonly encountered types of code block, such as conditional statements, loops, functions, and events. You've seen this stuff already in the course, but only in passing. Here, we'll discuss it all explicitly. The next module is introducing JavaScript objects. In JavaScript, most things are objects, from core JavaScript features like strings and arrays to the browser APIs built on top of JavaScript. You can even create your own objects to encapsulate related functions and variables into efficient packages. The object-oriented nature of JavaScript is important to understand if you want to go further with your knowledge of the language and write more efficient code. Therefore, we've provided this module to help you. Here we teach object theory and syntax in detail. Look at how to create your own objects and explain what JSON data is and how to work with it. And the next module is client-side web APIs. When creating client-side JavaScript for websites or applications, 
you won't go very far before you start to use APIs. Interfaces for manipulating different aspects of the browser and operating system the site is running on. Or even data <clears throat> from other websites or services. In this module, we will explore what APIs are and how to use some of the most common APIs you'll come across often in your development work. Solving common JavaScript problems. Use JavaScript to solve common problems provides links to sections of content explaining how to use JavaScript to solve very common problems when creating a web page. And this is the completion of this video, and I will see you next time, and we will be in the JavaScript First Steps Overview.